Oinkers, my friends. Oinkers! The new piggies are out. This is the second weekend of our big collaboration. I am a part of. We all got assigned with two colors that we got to showcase. The theme of our collaboration is our hometown. Where can I find these colors in my hometown? Well, so let me tell you about the town I'm from. It's Talita. It's spelled like this. Approximately 400 people live there. Yeah, that's all. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody hates everybody. Everybody loves everybody like it is in a small town. I love you guys. It's very countryside-ish. The oldest building was built 1100 something, 1300 something. Um, it was a big copper mining town. So copper would have been a good color, but eh. Lots of trees, lots of nature. So the one color Echeveria fits in. Echeveria is a succulent and surprise, surprise, no succulents to be found in Germany. This is Echeveria. So very close by is one of the biggest dammed lakes of Germany, Der Edersee. When I say big, you know, for you Americans or Australians, <laughs> there might be a pond for you. For Germany, it's fairly big. But it's a dammed lake, so in the summer, the river that follows the Weser has a lot of boat traffic and they need the water from the Edersee to transport their stuff down the Weser. Which means that in the summer, when it's getting hot and everybody wants to go out and swim, there's no water. Everybody hates that, especially tourism. Hallo Herr Meyer! But it can be so beautiful, depending on when it happens, when the lake gets empty. And when I say empty, it's going back to the original state, meaning you will see the small tiny river that went through that valley 100 years ago, but the lake is gone. Back to the point. When it's back to that original state, everything dries out, but all these plants come out where it's very flat usually like where the lake starts flowers pop up and they have this dark purple color that's where this color comes in agapanthus so you can take hour-long walks through the Edafeld and it's so surreal you walk where there usually is a lake if you're in Germany, what a pretty place. See the Edersee. Tell everybody I said hi. I miss them. And enjoy the nature. Okay, guys. So I would showcase those colors in a painting. And I try to recreate das Ederfeld, which I love so much. Get your piggies, if you not already have. And, um, yep, yeah, that's it. Oink, oink. <laughs> I never showed you colors, did I? Well, you know these two, Echeveria and Agapanthus. Then I have this guy here, it's Athena. Another pig. Here is Brulee. Two paints to brighten things up a little. And I don't think I've ever used a color like this before. Yellowish green by Amsterdam. Complemented by green black Atelier. Brown black Atelier as well. Amsterdam blue violet. This guy is my cell activator. It is the new pigment Zeus. I hate to say Zeus because Zeus sounds like Zeus, which means sweet in German. It doesn't make sense in my brain. That's why it's Zeus. And Atelier Carbon Black 
with Australian Floetrol. Another cell activator. Wait, I forgot my white. Do -do -do. Titanium white. Okay, this looks adventurous. Holy cow, I don't think I've ever used a color palette like that. <laughs> well, gonna be fun. So I'm debating if I tell you about my vision because we all know how that goes. So what I want to recreate is this field of the drained lake, Das Ederfeld, which is muddy but grassy and full of insects. So for mein Ederfeld, I would like to use these colors. That's my mud, that's my dirt, but also the new life, the sprouts coming up. That is very sprouty. And I will swipe this first. And on top of that, I would like to somehow create these flowers. We will see how that goes. That should be plenty. It's a nice thick pillow. Okay, so like I said, the riverbed is muddy and brown. To save pillow, always bring it to the places where you need it. It's better than having it run off. I will use black first. That's my cell activator. Atelier Carbon Black. Good old size. There was a lot. I'm gonna tip some off. Oop, now there's white on it. You do not want that. Okay. Hmm. So I kind of want to have this to represent the lake because it's very curvy. Yeah, chickened out. <laughs> That's okay though. Bring this up just a little bit because this whole field that turns into mud and then into a green luscious meadow is surrounded by trees and lots of slate. Beautiful place, people. I will do this again, kind of like this. Soys first and then black.
fold it around. I like the green things that I never said before. Do I want to scoop a little? I do, but does that make sense? I do want to move everything downwards a little bit. This part is more interesting to me. So I'm gonna move it more down since we have plenty of pillow to work with. And I also want to try to keep the movement and not just push it straight down there because it's a very snaky lake. It used to be a river valley. Oh, humans. We need that. Let's flood it. Don't get me started, guys. Don't get me started. All right, tiny spin. You know what? No, I wanted to expand a little bit more. Because I do not necessarily want too much negative space but this is gorgeous okay tiny spin Jeez, I want to leave it like that. Damn you guys, what, what am I going to do? I guess I have to follow through my plan because we haven't seen Agapanthus yet. Okay, let's make our wildflowers that pop up after being dormant underneath a lake for a few months. So I want just a little cell activator. And um, I'll start with white just a bit then agapanthus athena who not too much athena is a little overtaker well she's a goddess so i'll let her have that okay how flowers so let me explain one more thing. It is flatter here in the lake, so it dries out quicker, so the flowers come quicker. That's why I'm just leaving them on the bottom part. And they're gonna go there and there, also there. And then they will grow here and there. And there's a few. And then we do the same thing. I love that green. I said it again. Okay, of course on the other side. We need more of those flowers, I'm afraid. Drag them out a little bit. It's important. 
important to not go too deep. You don't want to pick up the pillow underneath. This time without the white. bit chickeny about the flowers. <laughs> I don't really want to screw this up. Yeah, so let's see what they do. I do like it, but hmm, I think I should have left just the lake. It's a lot of paint. You know what? I think I'm gonna go more in the middle so I will have more of the purple. Okay, but back to white without the green this time. I'll be right here. How about I put a transfer on there? Let's do some Scoopy transfers, shall we? All right, I have a little puddle here. My purples and the white on top. Black cell activator and a little swipe. And another one. Okay, I will add this onto this There we go. All right, let's keep going. I have to spin this. I can't think <laughs> when I don't see what's going on because you never know.
Okay, guys, this is so cool. I can explain to you what I'm seeing right here. Like an actual spot in the world. So here would be the town of Hatzhausen. This is a little um, arm that goes, well, so the river goes like this and you can stand on this point, if that makes sense. And there's a tree, a willow tree that most of its life has been almost on the water. But every year you can walk towards it and parts of the year you can't walk towards it because it's in the water. So I'm standing at that point when there's no water and I can see the big field of the beginning of the lake and then meandering its way through the hills. I will wash my hands and get you down. It's pretty fucking cool. Here's the dried result. Man, I can't explain how much that reminds me of the spot that I was talking about. It's so awesome to be able to have a vision and express that with fluid art. Can you see the sparkle? That's brulee and soys and the echeveria. Damn, sparkly. My friends, thank you so much for watching. Head over to Lisa Marvin Art and get yourself some piggies. Bye bye.